FSR3 frame generation is absolutely amazing and one of the main reasons why I was so excited about it is because I knew this was going to happen and we're starting to see some mods that allow you to get frame generation support for NVIDIA GPUs that don't support frame generation from NVIDIA. Basically, GPUs that NVIDIA doesn't support. Okay, like my RTX uh, 3080. So now we can get frame generation technology uh, from AMD on this NVIDIA frame generation supported game thanks to this mod, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, so basically I tested Cyberpunk, it works. It just works, I should say. Uh, but it is supposed to work with more games but I haven't been able to get it to work, basically. So let me show you here in Cyberpunk, I'm getting right now 100 frames per second, okay? So I'm gonna turn that off, so you will see I have frame generation settings here. Let me show you, you see? DLSS frame generation, which it is not DLSS frame generation, it's FSR3 frame generation. But I'm gonna turn it off and you will see how the frames drop it's taking a while to reload okay here we go see 60 frames per second 65 66 frames per second okay so we're not doubling the frame rate but we're getting a very nice boost and it is absolutely amazing because i would not play the game with these settings at all because i cannot even get a lock 60 frames per second with these settings with this picture quality but now with this frame generation I can actually play the game which is absolutely amazing and I definitely need this because I am setting up VR for Cyberpunk which I'm gonna share with you that mod and how, how to get that working after I nail the settings and I, I definitely need this okay I definitely need this for VR uh, because it is uh, very demanding so this is great now if you get this working in other games let me know let me let me know which other game you can get this working it's supposed to be working for the witcher 3 i haven't tested that on the witcher 3 but i tried hogwarts legacy and spider-man miles morales it doesn't work it did the same thing and even for a spider-man miles morales i am getting the the pop so basically when you install this mod I mean, very easy to install. Link in the description of the video. You just download this file from here. Link in the description of the video. You download this. And then you're going to get these files. And you just need to copy and paste that where the game executable is. And you just need to run, double click this disable NVIDIA signature checks, which is basically middle finger to NVIDIA and then you're going to get this pop which is gonna tell you DLSS to FSR 3 is loaded AMD FSR 3 frame generation will replace NVIDIA DLSS uh, frame generation so and it tells you oh this is experimental and it might have some bugs of course it's free okay so definitely give it a try but so far it is, it's just not working for other games that I tested. I will you know, keep trying more games. Let me know. I'm very interested to know in which other game you got this working. Because I got that message popping for Spider-Man. Not for Hogwarts Legacy. For some reason, it's not popping in Hogwarts Legacy. But then when I go to the game, frame generation is still locked. And I cannot use it. And I really need to use frame generation in Hogwarts Legacy, which I haven't played a lot, just waiting and waiting and waiting. This is the time, okay? This technology is it's just perfect for a game like that. So I absolutely love it. You know, you go from 67 frames per second, we come here, we turn that on, and it's just fantastic. Come here. I'll show you the settings I'm using, but look at the look at the jump from 66 frames per second to 110. Okay, 
it is great so now so let me show you the settings i'm using and then let's talk about you know the picture quality you know downsides uh, i don't see the, it's not a deal breaker i mean it's not perfect but it's not a deal breaker these are the settings i'm using right now okay it's not like the best up to my settings or anything like that it's just the reference point that i'm using right now with with my 3080 12 gigabytes and 5800 x3d so these are high settings um i lower the fog and the volumetric cloud quality and i also lower the reflection and the crowd density because the crowd looks so bad i don't even want to see it <laughs> so yeah these are the settings uh and of course i'm using dlss as you can see here so now i can oh actually my bad when you turn this back on again it changes the dlss so i was using balance it, it changes back automatically to auto which is um performance dlss performance that's why the jump was to 112 instead of like 100 frames per second so i have to change it back to balance and now i'm gonna see the 100 frames that i was getting close to that yeah there you go that's what happened see like 103 frames that's what i was getting so it does work the dlss is working and that's another thing fsr3 um frame generation only works with fsr for amd supported games and that's a that's a deal that's a shame because dlss looks better so this is might be actually even better than if amd supports <laughs> because i want to use dlss because it looks better the picture quality is better um and i'm not 100 percent sure dlss is working here it might be fsr because of the mod um but i believe it is because it looks very good but i'm not sure let me know I am not sure if this is DLSS, but if it is, it will be, I mean, even better than if uh, AMD supports it. So now, we should be getting more artifacts, maybe, than on a supported game. But here, right now, at 100 frames per second, surrounding the car, I don't see anything bad. I do see the ghosting on the wheels when I was driving. I see ghosting. You can see the ghosting here, at this size. But I'm not sure if I should attribute that to the just the upscaling or or if it is the the frame generation. I'm not sure. But that ghosting is not a deal breaker, not at all. So let me get out of let me get out of here and get out of the car and see if I can if I can notice any issues with um, just moving the guns. Just a gunfight. If I can notice any, oh, I got a stutter right there. Yeah, I mean, game without stutters. I mean, Cyberpunk is one of the best games when it comes to shader compilation stutters and all of that. But it's still, yeah, you still see some stutters from time to time. So now, if I am just shooting, I don't see. Of course, occlusion artifacts in this weapon, for example, allows me to maybe get some occlusion artifacts. I don't see, I don't see any big problem. And of course, the shadows are all messed up. You know, who go figure? Why is that? It's just a lot of. It's very noisy. These shadows here. It doesn't look great, but it's not terrible. It's not terrible, and the input lag is good enough. Good enough for me. I don't care. I don't care too much. I'm using a controller, though. Maybe with a mouse, it's gonna be more bothersome. But right now, with the controller, it's good. So, man, I have no complaints. This is fantastic. I, I want you know this to come, and it works. It works for everything. So yeah, let me know if you give this a try, and in which games you got this working. And if you see a solution, like why is it not working for all games? Like what do I have to do? Tell me anything, anything but, you know, come here and pay something to someone because that doesn't make any sense, okay? This mods should be free. I see a lot of some mods are, are paid, it's just nonsense, okay? I just don't even post that, please, <laughs> okay? I don't wanna promote any of those paid mods, okay? I never delete comments, but if someone posts 
a link to a paid mod, I'm sorry, I'm deleting that comment. I don't want to. I don't want to have to anything to do with that. So yeah, we got another stutter there. Maybe because I just installed the new drivers. Cyberpunk usually doesn't stutter, but I don't think it's because of this mod. I just installed the new drivers, and that might be why. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions, and if you have any questions.